President Trump told a crowd in Iowa on Wednesday that alleged emails from Hunter Biden were a, quote, smoking gun, showing that former Vice President Joe Biden blatantly lied about his involvement in his son's business dealings in Ukraine. Quote, we've just learned through explosive documents published by a very fine newspaper, the New York Post, that Joe Biden has been blatantly lying about his involvement in his son's corrupt business dealings. And this is a big smoking gun, Trump said during a speech at Des Moines International Airport. Notice that Joe Biden and his campaign aren't disputing the basic facts the New York Post has uncovered about the Hunter Biden's cashing in on his dad's high office. The ex-vice president called a lid for the day at 9.41 a.m. on Wednesday, indicating he'd make no more appearances. Emails reveal that Hunter introduced a top executive of Burisma, the Ukrainian natural gas firm on whose board he sat to his dad while Joe was in the White House serving as vice president, and less than a year before the VP pushed the Ukrainian government into firing a prosecutor who was investigating Burisma. On Wednesday afternoon, a group of reporters, among them a journalist for the Daily Beast, spoke with the owner of the shop, a man named John Paul MacIsaac, who lives in Wilmington, Delaware. MacIsaac appeared nervous throughout. Several times he said he was scared for his life and for the lives of those he loved. He appeared not to have a grasp on the timeline of the laptop arriving at his shop and its disappearance from it. He also said the impeachment of President Trump was a sham. Social media postings indicate that MacIsaac is an avid Trump supporter and voted for him in the 2016 election.